$30,000. So this is going to be changed to a fraudulent use of a credit card. Suppose the employee was using the company credit card to make purchases on Amazon and racked up over $15,000 so far and they're still counting. seems like so we're still going to take the report and try to make contact with her and then hopefully follow up and be able to arrest her. Right now we're into a suspicious person or a guy supposedly has bolt cutters inside of a lawn trying to find her. They're not sure what he was doing because he's not doing any laundry. So we're going to go make contact with him and see what he's doing. One of the funniest calls I've ever gotten was when President Trump got elected president. Somebody called in to 911 and asked how he can give up his U.S. citizenship because he didn't want to live in America with President Trump as his president. Oh, right here. There he is. Figure out. We're trying to figure out who this guy is. He's giving my partner a false name, so we're just trying to figure out who he is and what he's doing here. So this guy, he didn't know his middle name, didn't know his social security number, didn't know where he was born. I detained him, and as soon as I detained him, he had an excited utterance saying that he gave me his false name. I read him Miranda, he provided me his real name, so now I'm checking out to see if that's actually him. We're heading to a disturbance where neighborhood disturbance where the neighbor across the street says she saw a male female arguing the male took the keys while she was outside and then the male yelled at her telling her that she was gonna he was gonna beat her up if she didn't mind her own business so we made contact with the caller who she advised there was just a disturbance across the street when she popped her head out she told him she was gonna call 911 and they didn't like that, so they, he yelled back at her. I tried making contact with the neighbor who graciously did not answer the door for me. So there's nothing else we can do. So we're on to the next call. Right now we're gonna go check out, it's called a prolific offender check. In our dish, in our county, we have, we keep record of the people who are committing the most crimes, most frequently, it's based on a point scale. Right now we're gonna go make contact with one of our prolific offenders to make sure that they're staying out of trouble and not committing more crimes. So with our prolific offender check, we made contact with a family member who advised that she has recently moved to New Jersey, so she's no longer living in Pasco. So I've taken the information and forwarded to the supervisors and then they'll take it from there. This concludes our day with the Tweet Along. Hope you all had fun and got all your questions out. Until next time, but don't forget, 9 p.m. routine is every day. It's not every other day. Make sure you lock your doors and take your valuables out. We don't want you to become our next victim of an auto burglary.